Tuesday, March 22nd, 2022. Thanks for joining us. I'm George Gerbo. Defiant Ukrainians have rejected Russia's surrender demands and vowed to keep fighting in the face of indiscriminate shelling and a growing death toll. Then Wolfgang reports Ukrainian officials stood strong and rejected calls to surrender Mariupol to the Russian invaders. The city has faced weeks of bombardment from Russian troops, leading to untold casualties and a massive exodus of civilians. Those who remain in Mariupol have no electricity and little food and water. Despite a considerable edge in manpower and weaponry, the Russian invaders have yet to capture a single major Ukrainian city after 20-plus days of war. Defenders are digging in in Kyiv, Kharkiv, and other major urban areas. Judge Katranji Brown-Jackson told senators she believes the Constitution grants a limited role to judges, kicking off her Supreme Court confirmation hearing with an early overture to Republicans who will decide how difficult a path that she has to the high court. Alex Sawyer reports Jackson said she takes judicial independence very seriously and decides cases from a neutral posture. She gave her brief opening statement after all 22 committee members had their say, laying out what the next two days of questions would look like. I decide cases from a neutral posture. I evaluate the the facts and I interpret and apply the law to the facts of the case before me without fear or favor, consistent with my judicial oath. If confirmed, the 51-year-old Miami-raised Harvard Law graduate would be the first black woman and only the third black person ever to serve on the high court. Republicans acknowledge the historic moment, but said Jackson's biography and resume are less important than her judicial philosophy. President Biden's nomination of Jackson, as well as his policy goals on election laws, policing, child care, and education, have allowed Democrats to put greater emphasis on diversity in the political discourse. Seth McLaughlin reports Democrats are hoping the Jackson nomination energizes black voters and the party's base without alienating moderate voters that are more concerned with bolstering the economy. For Democrats, the nomination hearing follows a series of legislative setbacks, including struggles to strengthen voting rights, overhaul policing, and expand paid leave provisions. A reminder that you can find all these stories at WashingtonTimes.com slash front page. If you don't have access to the Times yet, you can visit WashingtonTimes.com slash George for a special subscription offer. Three House Judiciary Committee Republicans want FBI Director Christopher Wray to explain potential discrepancies between his testimony last year to Congress and the findings of an internal audit that revealed rule-breaking by agents. In a letter to Wray, the lawmakers asked for information about the Bureau's misconduct detailed in a 2019 agency audit that was first reported by our Ryan Lovelace. The letter was signed by Judiciary Committee Ranking Member Jim Jordan and Committee Members Mike Johnson of Louisiana and Andy Biggs of Arizona. And finally, the Securities and Exchange Commission has unveiled a proposal that would require publicly traded companies to disclose emissions data and risks that are posed by climate change. Ramsey Touchberry reports it would be a first-of-its-kind regulation and mark another area where the Biden administration hopes to combat a warming climate. It also underscores the administration's concern about climate change's potential impacts on the economy. The idea faced immediate pushback from Republican lawmakers and industry groups. They said the regulators had overstepped their authority and would spread confusion through corporate offices and on Wall Street. The proposal must undergo a 60-day public comment period before the SEC makes it final. Find all of today's front page stories at WashingtonTimes.com slash front page or on the Washington Times app. And find us on any major podcast platform. Just search Washington Times in your favorite podcast app. You can also find us on Twitter and Instagram at Watch Times for breaking news, sports, commentary, and more. For the Washington Times, I'm George Gerbo. Thank you.